Hey guys, Mr. Bowman here. Today's video, we are learning to calculate x in an inverse triangular distribution question, and we're going to get straight into it. So our graph, it has a minimum of 5, a peak of 10, and a maximum of 18. And we know this area here has a probability of 0 0.15385. And we've been asked, what is the x value that relates to that triangle and that probability? So we're trying to find that x there. Before we get in, let's write down our parameters so we know which relates to our minimum, our maximum, and peak. So that minimum is always 5. That maximum is 18, which is B, and our peak is 10, leaving X the only thing that we don't know. So we're going to get into this straight away. We're going to try to solve it. So like any question for triangular, the probability is always equal to one half of base times height. And we're going to start inputting the things that we know. We know our probability that was given to us in our question. That's 1.55. 5385, we're going to times that by one half. The base of our triangle, that is the difference between 18 and x. So we're going to go 18 minus x. And that is going to be multiplied by the height of this triangle. I just want to note our triangle has a right slope. So we're going to be using the right slope formula. But if you have a triangle with a left slope, please make sure you're using the left slope formula because your answer will be wrong if you're using the wrong formula. And our formula is 2 times b minus x, and that is divided by b minus a and b minus c. We can then start our simplifying process. Um, let's get rid of this times 1 half. The opposite of times 1 half is divided by 1 half, so we're going to go divide by 1 half, and we're going to multiply that by, so that is equal to 18 minus x, which is the base, times the height, which is 2 times b in our case is the maximum, 18 minus x, so b was from our graph or our chart, um, b minus a is 18 minus 5, and b minus c is 18 minus 10. We're going to keep simplifying this. So that number divided by 1 half, that comes to 0 0.3077. That is going to be equal to 2 times 18 minus x, 18 minus x. So what I've done is I've simplified that part there by grouping them together because it's all multiplication. And that is going to be divided by 13 times 8. And the next step, let's simplify that bottom line. 0 0.377 is equal to 2 times 18 minus x, 18 minus x. And that is going to be divided by 104. We're going to move the divide by 104 and make it a times. And that is going to be equal to 2 times 18 minus x, 18 minus x. We're now going to move this times 2 to make it division. So we're going to go 104 times 0 0.3077 divided by 2 is equal to this. Let's expand this bracket here to see what that comes to. x squared minus 36x plus 324. All of this, that comes to 16... Sorry about that, my screen froze a little bit. That comes to 16.0004, 16.0004, and that is equal to x squared minus 36x plus 324. And that leaves our final quadratic as x squared minus 36x plus 324. From here, I'm just going to change pen color because we are doing something slightly different. We need to know how to solve quadratics via our calculator. And to get there, we need to be into the equation mode. 
and then you are doing a polynomial and the degree is two to solve that and there is a separate video on how to solve those but if you did that x1 that is equal to 14 and that number's been rounded to zero decimal points and our second one that was equal to 22 and that hasn't been rounded that was the exact number so we got our answers the only issue with quadratics we got two answers there's only one answer to this question though quadratics often split up spit out something called a false answer so we need to think about our two numbers and what they mean so the, the one that's catching my eye is that 22. If you have a look at the range of values between 5 and 18, well, that 22 value falls outside of that range. Um, so that number is actually impossible. So that probability of anything to do with 22 should be zero. So that means that x equals 22 is actually a false answer. So that means the final answer, x equals 14, is the answer. So that means the probability that x is above 14, that is equal to 0 0.15385, and that there would be our final answer. Uh, hopefully you found this video useful. Um, now let's get into some questions.